What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best bread knife. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the Tojiro Bread Slicer. We crown the Japanese Tojiro Bread Slicer F737 our favorite bread knife. The long, thin, flexible blade and sharp serrated edge can slice crusty sourdough, heavy pineapples, and the softest fine ripened tomatoes with speed, accuracy, and minimal pressure. The Tojiro blade is one of the most flexible that we tested, so we wondered if it could handle heavy-duty jobs like cutting the skin off a pineapple. It took us by surprise, performing better than all of the other knives we tested. This is the blade we found ourselves reaching for most often and the one that brought us the most joy. It has a simple shape to its small handle, rendering it less secure feeling in your hand. However, we found that the lightweight, high-performing blade compensates for the lack of ergonomic security because it doesn't require a tight hold on the handle when slicing to get a complete result. Moving on at number 4, we have the Cuisinart C77 TR8 BD Bread Knife. For the budget shopper looking for a serrated blade that handles a wide variety of kitchen duties, the Cuisinart C77 TR8 BD Triple Rivet delivers in both performance and price. The serrations are sharp and quick to bite into the skin of soft tomatoes or the hard crust of artisan bread. The construction is solid with a full tang, a well-proportioned handle, a bolster to keep the knife balanced, and a long blade for most tasks. The appearance of this knife also appeals to us. It has that classic, quality knife look with no flashy colors or unusual shapes. While the Cuisinart performs above average, its thicker, non-tapered blade causes it to lag when cutting deep into a loaf of bread and hinders its agility for changing direction when cutting through a dense pineapple. The 7.25-inch blade length can be a little short if you plan to cut large as loaves of bread or level cakes, but for most tasks, 7 inches is enough to get through. At number 3, we have the Mercer Millennia Wavy Edge Wide Bread Knife. Landing close to the top of the heap is the Mercer Millennia Wavy Edge Wide Bread Knife with its lengthy blade and immaculate slicing action. This is one of the longest blades we tested giving it the versatility to make quick work of even the largest sourdough boule. The blade is thicker toward the heel and tapers toward the tip, giving it strength and durability while minimizing lag. Whether slicing tomatoes, pineapple, or bread, the Mercer is a top performer across the board. Due to the positioning of the handle, the Mercer Millennia offers more clearance between your fingers and the cutting board than any other knife we tested. If you're seeking a bread knife that doubles as an aesthetic decor piece for your kitchen, the plastic dual gray toned handle might not be what you're looking for. However, we think the comfort and performance of this model make up for the lack of flashy presentation. You buy the Mercer when you want a top performing knife, not as eye candy on your magnetic block. At number 2, we have the Kershaw PK2 Bread Knife. For those jobs that need more precision, like cutting tomatoes, slicing up smaller loaves of bread, or skinning pineapples while losing the minimal amount of fruit, the Pure Kamachi 2 Series bread knife is a solid choice. Its low weight and small size make it easy to wield on a crowded countertop, and the thin, flexible blade allows you to adjust the direction of your cut while in the middle of a pineapple. While the small blade offers excellent control, it isn't long enough to slice anything larger than small loaves or baguettes. The handle is smooth, straight, and on the small side, which is fine for light work, but when slicing up an entire loaf of hearty bread, you may want a little more structure to grab onto. And, although some people may be happy to add a single orange knife to their set, the bright color probably won't blend in easily with the rest of your kitchen equipment. And finally at number 1, we have the Victorinox Bread Knife. While it isn't the highest performing knife in the test, the Victorinox Swiss Army 10-1 quarter, serrated bread knife certainly holds its own. It offers one of the longest blades in our review, which we like for its ability to level cakes and slice larger loaves of bread. 
The knife is sharp and slices well with a fairly thin, tapered blade. The Victorinox knife is only a partial tang, and the handle is made of lower quality plastic than we would expect in a knife at this price. Regardless, the handle is still comfortable and large enough for a variety of hand sizes. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.